Hello Aries, hope you're doing well. I'm going to do a quick reading for you today. Check in with your current energies, see what's going on. This is for anyone who has Aries in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know for highest good and only their highest good? What does Aries need to know for highest good and only their highest good? Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot. So that shows movement, but since Knight of Pentacles is here, it's slow movement. Chariot can just talk about moving forward, leaving the past in the past. King of Cups, Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups, uh, it's an energy of Kind of, you know, getting in touch with your emotions, maybe as you take these movements, you know, kind of let your, your intuition and what your heart wants more of a guide versus being logical. Knight of Swords, that's fast movement. So maybe, maybe things are starting to change in your life or for the new year. Things have been going slowly, but things are taking a turn and things are going to start happening more quickly. What can you tell me about the Knight of Pentacles? Two pentacles. Oh, okay. So maybe you've taken a long time to make a decision, or maybe um, life has been a little imbalanced or unstable for some time. Page of Wands. Communication. High Priestess. Six of Wands. So maybe you've been ignoring your intuition, but Spirit is saying to whatever your intuition is telling you is trying to communicate something to you, and it's the right path to take. Six of Wands, that's, you know, success. So that's showing me that. Whatever you're feeling in your gut, that is what you need to be doing. So if you've been questioning it, I think it's time to start making some moves. The Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So whether this is in love or work, um, moving forward, I see more stability. more money possibly whatever it is that you know you're currently dealing with or um, whatever situation this this reading is about it's leading to more stability Queen of Pentacles she's like the epitome of stability and ten of Pentacles that's long-term stability and success and it is also, could be lots of money. So maybe this year could bring in a higher paying job or just the stability that you, that you desire. King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? The devil. What else 
Can you tell me? Oh gosh. Strength. Hayden, are you hungry? Lovers, two cups, four cups. So this makes me feel that there could be some type of, I don't know if it's self-sabotaging or <coughs> just a like, an unhealthy way that you handle love. It kind of looks like you avoid, I don't know if it's avoiding feeling emotions or sharing emotions, but spirit wants you, you know, in order to move forward and have this two of cups, um, you need to be more open and vulnerable, which I know is easier said than done, but I feel like there might be a history of avoidance, which could be holding you back. Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? emotions all about deep emotions moving towards emotions seven of swords secrets the moon can be secrets also what else can you tell me about this where is this going The Star, King of Swords, Justice. You could be receiving some kind of justice with maybe an air sign that you don't see coming. Whatever it is, is supposed to happen. It's destined. Could be an Aquarius, could be Libra it's here. Capricorn, Gemini. Um, Pisces, Cancer. The King of Swords can also be somebody who kind of comes off cold. You know, they don't really share their emotions. Then again, it could be you because this whole reading is about opening up and, and feeling those feelings and emotions. And once you do, there's some type of justice that is served. What is this justice? Whoop. Three of Wands, something you've been waiting for. So obviously that's going to be different for everybody, but yeah. 
How's your reading, Aries? I, brought, I hope this brought some clarity and guidance for you. I'm gonna pull one oracle card for you for some additional advice. This guy wants to come out. Lavender, surround yourself with love. Number 19. Surround yourself with people who make you feel like the best version of yourself. People you can trust with anything in the world. Maybe you've been distancing yourself from your found family, or maybe you haven't discovered your found family yet. You need to make an effort here. Go out there and reconnect or make new connections. All right, Aries, there's your reading. Hope you have a great new year and I'll see you in the next one. Love ya.